What's going on guys? Uh, just wired up my new winch, uh, Badland ZXR 3,500 pound winch, got from Harbor Freight. It was like 150 bucks. Uh, couldn't find a coupon. I've seen them as low as like uh, right around right around 100, 115 if you wait for a coupon. But uh, you know, I, it was payday, you know, and I had the money. It's not the greatest thing to do. Anyways, um, wired it up. Um, it does not come with a mount, so you're gonna have to buy a mount. Um, this four wheeler had a little winch on it already that didn't work. Took everything off. Uh, it does come with the Fairlead mount. Uh, I didn't need that once again. Um, I don't know what kind of what kind of mount this was, or I would let you know. Uh, but it works. Yeah, I mean it's perfect. Anyways, got it all on there. You got the yellow and blue that connect to the side. Uh, the terminals right there. Um, ran them up through the frame. I've got them zip tied right now. Um, kind of kind of put some electrical tape over it to hide it a little bit because that yellow and blue is bright, brand new, and it sticks out. Um, I will end up uh, redoing the wiring and, and securing it a lot better. I've got more work to do to this thing, so I just kind of zip tied it out of the way. Um, the wire right there is gonna be moved as well. Uh, and this is for the wired uh, remote right there. I will end up mounting that right there, I believe, uh, somehow. Uh, it works great. Um, you know, it's one of those deals where if you're out by yourself, you end up getting stuck, you know, winch it, you know, hook this thing up to a tree or something and, and, uh, you can use that handle to winch yourself out. Um, it's got, it's got a good amount of, uh, of cord to it. So probably, probably 10 foot at least. I'm sure there's, uh, some kind of literature in the, in the, uh, directions that tell me how long that is. You can probably look it up online, but it's. It's pretty long. So I'll end up mounting that somewhere right there. Uh, I kind of like that spot. I can see what's going on from the front if I'm, if I'm winching myself out of something. Um, ran everything up along with the rest of the, the wiring and, and hoses and stuff. So it'll be out of the way. Um, it's ugly right now. Uh, I do have more work to do to this thing. So I just kind of chose to leave it like that for right now. Um, the... Uh, solenoid right here is just kind of held on right now using like five pounds of zip ties. It'll be, I'll change that out. I'm going to try these little, uh, nylon, uh, uh, I don't know, these, these little straps, you know, um, I couldn't find any, any U-bolts. The other one was held on by U-bolts and I liked that, but I couldn't find any. So, uh, these are one inch. They fit the frame perfectly. They do move a little bit, but you can always, uh, you can always, uh, you know, don't drop them. Uh, you can always put it together and kind of cinch it up like that if you need to, if you can, and that ought to tighten it onto the frame. Um, cooled everything up, wrapped it up real nice. Um, I think in the future, I'm going to probably cut these to length, get some new, get some new ends for these terminals right here, crimp them on, heat shrink it, and go that route just because for one it'll look good and two it'll 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 clear a bunch of this up you know there won't be as much of that trash and that garbage and and everything uh, in the way so i do plan on cleaning that up um i ran the handlebar mount i just kind of ran it down in there um hooked it all up loosely zip tied it to make sure I had enough play and it wasn't gonna be snagging on anything when I turned the, the handlebars. And then I, uh, you know, cinched it up tight and it's good to go. Um, this thing comes with a red wire right there. That little red wire has to be wired to a hot, uh, like a, an uh, ignition wire um, per directions. I guess you technically don't have to uh, because before I wired it up, I hooked it all up. I touched that red wire to that red terminal, hit the switch, and it worked without having to turn the ignition on. You don't have to. It's just a safety feature. You know, uh, 
ignition has to be on all that good stuff there's a fuse box um uh, i'm sorry a circuit breaker on the on the positive as well um i would recommend putting an inline fuse on that wire um if you're gonna you know have it wired to to just the battery where it's hot all the time and you can use it whether it's on or off um just so it doesn't you know, you know that fuse will trip or whatever and, and blow the fuse and cut it off rather than burning up that uh solenoid and your battery and all that good stuff and you know you risk catching fire or, or just you know really doing some damage um so i would recommend that um at the least if you if you wire that up to to something that's always hot um so here we go uh right now nothing um turn the key on and you can hear it let's make sure i go out and not in and you can hear it works um right there so um I'll pull that a little bit tight bring it in a little bit and we're good to go. Turn it off again. Nothing. So I wired it in uh, to the 12 volt accessory plug right there. There's a brown wire behind that. The brown wire is the hot wire. So I wired that in. It's hard to see. That was a beat down uh, getting to that because I couldn't get this off. And then with the snorkels and everything on there, I'm, I'm pretty limited in the amount of play I have in this piece of plastic right there. So. It was a beat down getting to it, but I got to it and uh, spliced it all in there. Um, so that's that's how I did that. Um, so one of these days soon, I'll get out, I'll test it out. I mean, it looks real good. It, it, it blends in. I don't. I didn't put it on there, you know, wanting it to stick out, and you know, want you to be able to see it. I didn't even put that. You know that red strap on it i'm not gonna put the red strap on it but uh looks good looks good works good uh i hope i don't need it much in the future but it'll be a uh you know it'll be a uh, an insurance uh, a little insurance policy if i get stuck for sure uh definitely don't want to be be buried up and not be able to get this sucker out so um depending on how it works uh I may or may not switch out for nylon later on in the future. Like I said, I, I mean, I got this thing for free. It already had the snorkels and everything on it. I had to do a bunch of work to it. And I don't plan on burying it up in, in a bunch of mud or anything, but I do plan on hitting mud. So hopefully it's just, just for emergencies and I don't need it much. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. That's how I did it. Whenever I, uh, whenever I can get out and use it, I'll, uh, I'll give you a review of this sucker. Next, here soon... I'm gonna be putting new tires on this thing. It, so that's what I got going on next. All right, thanks for watching guys.